Hello students. This first video is going to briefly talk about your outline, your speech outline that you're going to be using for your first two speeches, your intro informative speech, as well as your demonstration speech. Now, I have put in Canvas very, very detailed sheets that I need you to read for this assignment. Those sheets are the basic speech outline, the checklist for the informative introduction speech, tips for students on using quotes, statistics, and visual aids, helpful chapters in the Valencia textbook, tips for videotaping speeches. Also look at the attachments that are labeled speech topics, example of requirement sheet, self-evaluation journal, and first speech assignment, three roles. Now certainly look at your textbook that has some really good information. However, if you see a discrepancy between my outline and the one in the textbook, use the outline that I have provided. Again, make sure you read everything in Canvas. It will make your life so much easier. Let's talk about that first speech you're going to give. It's important to know that you should really focus your speech. Try not to cover too much in one speech. It's a lot better to say a lot about a little than a little about a lot. Let me say that again. It's better to say a lot about a little than a little about a lot. In other words, I really want you to go in depth. I really want you to give details. So focus that speech. Now, let's talk about that outline very, very briefly. The first thing you do is have a greeting. Hello, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Do not tell us your speech topic. After you've done the greeting, then you do the attention getter. Just because the audience is there physically does not mean they're there mentally or intellectually. You need to grab their attention and draw them into the speech. Here's how you do that. You use a story. And if you tell a story, tell two thirds of the story and stop and finish the story at the end of your speech. Or you could use a quote, a statistic. You can show a visual aid. Could be audio, or it could be a video, or it could be a photo, or a chart, or a drawing. You could demonstrate something. You could ask a question. You can make a shocking statement. There's all kinds of ways you can grab our attention, but you need to do so. After you grab our attention, then you do the thesis. And the thesis is one sentence summing up your entire speech. After you do the thesis, then what you need to do is you do the preview sentence, one sentence that tells us what the three main points are going to be. That thesis is included in your preview sentence. However, remember, your thesis and your preview are two separate sentences. First your thesis, and then your preview that has your thesis repeated, and then you go into your preview. After you've done that, you need to do the bond of goodwill, which answers two questions in the minds of the audience. Hey, why should I listen to you? Why should I listen to the speech? Answer those questions and we'll go ahead and listen to you. After you've done the introduction, now it's time to do the body of your speech. And that has your three main points. Three main points. Each one needs to be one complete sentence and include your thesis in that main point. If your main points are not the equal length, then the biggest one should be last. Work up to it. 
or you have one that is more important than the others, put that one last and work up to it. Okay? So, when you do your three main points, you can arrange them a variety of ways. You could do them geographical, spatial, directional. You could do it chronological. You could do it sequential. Or you could do it categorical. One thing I found helpful when I write my main points is to use either anaphora or epistrophe. Anaphora is where you begin a series of sentences with the same word or phrase. An epistrophe is where you end a series of sentences with the same word or phrase. That really helps make your main point stand out so the audience can follow your speech a little bit better. And now we're ready to do the conclusion of your speech. And the first thing you want to do is, once again, mention your three main points. So earlier you had a preview, now you have a review. In one sentence, tell us again what your three main points are. Then you need to tie back to the beginning. So if you started with a quote, end with a different quote. If you started with a statistic, end with a statistic. If you started that story in the beginning of your speech, now is the time to finish that story. And the last thing you want to do is have what's called a point to the future, where you tell us how we could take this speech and use it in our own lives. That's basically the outline of a uh, speech, a basic speech outline that you'll be using for your first two speeches. Here's an easy way to remember how to do it. One of them, one easy way, is what I call the three T's of public speaking. And they are, tell us what you're going to tell us, tell us, tell us what you told us. Pretty simple. Those three T's are the basic speech outline. Another way to help you remember how to do the outline is to compare your speech with a book. So your thesis is equivalent to the title of a book. Your preview is equivalent to a table of contents of a book. And your three main points are equivalent to chapter headings in a book. I hope that helps. That pretty much wraps up everything I had to say about your outline. A real condensed lecture right there. So please, please, please review everything that I put in Canvas. Look at the book and then submit to me your first draft as best as you can for your outline. In that draft, you need to have everything. You need to have all the requirements, which are one statistic, one quote, and also you need to refer to your visual aid. Along with submitting your outline, you need to also submit your requirements page. That list all of the statistics you use, you're only required to use one for this speech. You're supposed to list all your statistics and tell me where you got it. You're supposed to list all the quotes you use in this speech. Again, you're only supposed to use one this first time, but tell me who said it. And you're supposed to use one visual aid. List that in your requirement speech. You need to submit those two items to me for approval so that I know you are on the right track. Make them as detailed as possible. It will make it so much easier for you and myself when you actually get up and deliver your speech. The other thing is when you write out your outline, the only time that you should use complete sentences are your thesis, your preview, your three main points, and your recap. The rest of it should all be bullet points. Please, 
please, please do not write out your speech word for word because you'll end up reading it and you might as well email it to me and I can read it. I want you to talk to me, not at me. I want you to have a one-sided conversation with me. Okay, our next video, we'll talk about delivery, but this one just focused on your outline. Now, get to work.